Today we go to Canada and we go to Canada to feature Noah Reed, the award-winning comedy actor and theatre actor in Broadway. But today we feature his music and his musical side. And there's quite a bit I want to say, but there's only a few lyrics to this video. It's short, sweet, to give you an introduction to somebody that has taken me in this particular case way back to 2016. And if we fast forward, he's had a catalogue of music, a catalogue of music that included from where this particular song came from, which was his album called Songs from a Broken Chair. And this is track 10 of the song. There are 10 um, singles on the, on the EP or album, depending on what you want to call it. And this is track 10. And I'm looking forward to going through the short and sweet lyrics but it's an effective video. I saw the images. It's got a snowy scene. We're in the middle of a heat wave, so maybe we need to cool down with this video a little bit, I'm thinking, because it's been crazy. Nicholas Reed is a Canadian voice, stage, and screen actor and musician that you're about to hear. He's performed in several films and television series, including Franklin and the CBC comedy series Shit's Creek. In 2016, he received a Canadian Screen Award nomination for Best Original Song for his work in the feature film People Hold On. And in 2019, he received a Canadian Screen Award for Best Supporting an Actor in a Comedy for his work on the series. And I am going to say, Shite's Creek. It's the only way I can say it. I mean, the English word for that is quite quite blunt so you have to forgive me for my pronunciation but the series was a Canadian television sitcom created by Dan Levy and his father now it ran from 2015 to 2020 it received critical acclaim garnered a cult following particularly for its writing humor and acting the series won several no has won various accolades including many awards 18 uh, canadian screen awards for example it was the first com comedy series to be nominated for a critics choice television award for best comedy it also received two screen actors guild awards including outstanding performance by an ensemble in a comedy series and a total of 19 primetime emmy award nominations including outstanding comedy series twice and the show received 15 of these nominations for its sixth and final season, setting a record for the most Emmy nominations for a comedy series' final season. For its portrayal of the, of the LGBT community and the people, the series received three nominations for a, for a GLAAD Media Award for its standing comedy series, winning twice. At the 72nd or we'll say, yes, yeah, 72nd Primetime Emmy Awards, the series' final season swept all seven major comedy awards. The first time a comedy or drama series to receive all seven awards. Absolutely phenomenal. And he was a reoccurring role in this. And if we go back to, now I'm going back to give you a bit of, he, Reed was nominated, the singer you're going to hear, for a Canadian Screen Award for the best original song for his work in the feature film People Hold. That was way back in 2015, which he also starred. He also released a self-produced full-length original album, which we just touched on, Songs from a Broken Chair. And believe you me, everybody, if you want chill-out music, meditative music, study music, his voice encapsulates that. His music is all about that. It's the kind of music you just honestly sit, half your coffee, half your five minutes, half your me time, and just close the eyes and chill out, as you're going to hear right now. Now, fast forward, he's been, he's made his debut, his Broadway debut in April of this year, joining the original Broadway cast of Tracy Letts, The Minutes, which is phenomenal. And he's also released on May 29, 2020, an album, the album titled Gemini. And the album's cover alluded to Reed's dual status as a musician and an actor by depicting the Gemini Awards statuette. 
So that's good, but I'm going back in his career first and I will react to one of his songs from his new album. I also, <coughs> I also want to congratulate before I play this. He's married and they're expecting a son and she's a fellow nurse and actor and more information in the description below and his musical links. He hasn't got a phenomenal on YouTube following because he's notoriously known for his acting. But nevertheless, this is about my channel and I feature all underrated artists, new artists, past and present, who give that wonderful, wonderful feeling that we're all missing about the music industry, which is it hasn't died. It's still thriving. And even if you go searching on YouTube, you'll always come across that gem of a song that you just know will prove to people the music industry is still here and it's still, its heartbeat is still pumping away. Why? Let's listen to Noah Reed and run away and you'll see why. The lyrics are extremely short, so I'll get through them very fast, but I hope you'll press those buttony things, like, comment and subscribe to my ever-growing worldwide channel that features artists from all around the world, just like Noah Reed from Canada singing his own song, Runaway, Take It Away. Why do you run away from everything? Well, I don't need an answer this time, I'm not gonna complicate for the sake of the war in my mind Oh yeah, but it's hard to say Anything Though I feel more articulate now Than I did yesterday But tomorrow's a whole other town And I'm already on the way down Man, what is it going to take? I want to pull up my stakes and go home But no, it's a longer way Can I talk to myself all alone? Man, say what you want to say Anything Well, I don't need you hanging around It's not coming easy breath. <sighs> incredible no? He's got an incredible voice. It's an award-winning voice you have Noah. I'm delighted 
She tripped over you. I was looking for another artist. I admit, hands up. But I came across you, loved the images of this, thought wouldn't it be crazy in the middle of a heat wave in Ireland to actually play a song with snow. Maybe, as I said in the beginning, it would cool us down. It certainly has. I think you've got a distinctive voice. And attached to this video, I'm going everybody, and I want you to give my channel support when you subscribe. If you do subscribe, please look out for the attached video to this. And it's by a young songtress. She's in her early 20s. She's called Stella Prince. And she has the same kind of vibe. She's got a Nashville country folk thing going on. Know it in your voice. There's this nuance uh, music flavor to it, but at the same time, a bit folky, a bit Indian, and a touch of countryness to it. So I'm going to combine the two and give you two new artists. This particular artist that is not as known for his singing, but he should be, and also Stella Prince. So you get twice the worth. Trust me, Stella is somebody that is just so chilled, so nuance as well that I feel Noah and Stella need to come together All right, and do you know what I'm just thinking in my head if Noah and Stella did a duet song so there's something if you hear Noah what I'm saying to you you're, you're an award-winning actor but check out Stella Prince and I would approach you to do a duet you two would come up with something pretty pretty darn special that would shake shake the music industry and keep proving like i say all the time the music industry is still thriving we just need to search a little deeper i'm talking about being deeper let's get into now the lyrics i enjoyed that i feel really chilled after that so it's live so i'm just looking for the lyrics as always <laughs> but runaway lyrics and it's very short and sweet it begins why do you run away from everything well, I don't need an answer this time. I'm not going to complicate, just for the sake of the war in my mind. Oh yeah, but it's hard to say anything, though I feel more articulate now than I did yesterday. But tomorrow's a whole new, another town, and I'm already on the way down. So straight away, it's a song of acceptance, acceptance in the sense that Noah has accepted. Oh you know what in my head I'm angry every inch of me is angry and if I try and speak to the person that's made me angry and that has moved on with their lives I'm going to complicate things because what will come out of my mouth is not what I want to say because I'm too angry so it's a dilemma situation in, in the beginning and he resolves it by saying I'm not going to complicate but he continues because there is a war in his mind of words. What will come out of his mouth would probably be more horrific than what he'd want to say. Because anger speaks louder than the truer words that need to be spoken. It always overrides the compassion that's needed, the calming effect that's needed with words. Because when we're angry, it's like a bull in a china shop. So he says, oh yeah, but it's hard to say anything. It is. When you're angry, it's, you know, somebody gave me advice one time and it was actually my current partner. I wish you'd calm down. I wish you'd calm down and listen. But when I'm angry, I do have a tendency to boil over and let everything just, I'm one of those people that has to come out. And unfortunately, whew, my partner, is a, his home is in Spain, in Bilbao. And within a couple of weeks, I always get the wonderful news just to let you know, my man, I'm going, I'm going to Spain for a couple of weeks because it takes a couple of weeks for me to cool down. But then it takes me many months to boil over. But the in-between situation is a war of words in my head, so I remain silent. And that's my advice to people, remain silent. Now, it continues here, though I do feel more articulate now than I did yesterday. Yeah, the day after you feel calmer. That's what he's saying. But tomorrow's a whole nother town and I'm ready on the way down. So he's ready to come down his feelings and move forward, wherever the road takes him. So it continues, man, what's it going to take? I want to pull up my stakes and go home, but it's no longer play. 
So the home that he used to share with this person is no longer his home. He's moved out, obviously. He's moved on emotionally. Because the two of them have had that row, it's come to an end, and he's just needing to run away from the situation that he's at. And I think that's why the video portrays it so well. And it wouldn't have been as effective if the weather had been sunny because the snow leaves footprints and the footprints are very symbolic. We all know that of many images of the past and moving forward. And I thought that was beautifully done in the video as well because you see the trail through the woodland of footprints. He's moving on through this wondrous journey he has to go through. And he says, man, what do you want to say? Anything? Well, I don't need you hanging around when it's not coming easily. In other words, he doesn't want the other person to be around him. So they have to move away from each other. Because they always say when two magnets are turned around, they repel against each other. It's There's no connection. And when two opposites meet, they connect. But these two now are banging their emotions and their heads together. And it's just not working. It's just not working. So he puts his faith, he continues, in this hole in the ground. And I'm ready all the way down now. And then he sings, ooh, ooh, ooh. And I have to say, when he was singing, ooh, ooh, in the video, I felt very chilled. I thought, ooh, it's like he's, it's like a little chant to release those inner feelings. Just, ooh. Some people do it in many, many ways. And I'd say a musician does it in his lyrics, in his song, like Noah, and it just... Oh, it's like taking a deep breath. It just comes out of him. So he's releasing. He's, he's calming himself down. He's getting to the next stage, which says and continues. And so you will run away once again. Now that you've cursed every soul in the room. Now that you've lost the day. And you'll be losing another one soon. But I want to believe again in anything. There's always that inner self that's, that reflects on a relationship. And what overrides common sense is the physical. You think of those shared moments. You think of the bedroom moments or the kitchen moments or wherever the intimate moments were. Holding hands, walking down the road moments, whatever. Having a drink, smiling, laughing moments. You think of those precious moments in time and it always makes you want to step back and turn around and go back again. But that's only your emotions and your mind not balanced. And he said, I want to believe again. Everybody does. I had the worst ex-partner in the world. Violent everything. And I still wanted to turn around and prove that I was the person to be in that person's life. But you know what? I'm glad I turned around and more or less stuck the two fingers and said, to hell, why should I give you all my effort when you've never shown yourself to be a true person of worth? So I moved on. But some people, you know, you battle that. And that can take weeks. That took me many months, by the way. Then it continues, and I don't know the answer this time. How do you operate? People do question how do they operate mentally when, when the mental breakup has physically drained them. You operate by believing in yourself to say, I can and I will. I need to and I must. It has to become your inner belief and chantra every day and something that you say you look into the mirror instead of looking away from mirrors look in and look into your own eyes and say i can do this i can get through today without anger and i can just something will happen and believe in karma everybody because karma does come around to embrace you it does if you will it often enough it does already on the long widened road and you go ooh, do that chantra Ooh, get rid of the inner anger. Take a deep breath and just go, I can do this. Because you can. Life will work out for you. And good luck in your journeys, everybody. And instead of running away, walk slowly away with belief. Take care for now. Thanks for listening. And please like, subscribe. And welcome, Noah, to my channel, 2022 Pop Video Weekly. Take care, everybody. I really enjoyed that song. I have to say I loved it.